slope one distribution. That's the low energy line. I'm going to draw in the medium energy line and the high energy line. And then I'm going to put in a vertical line showing the activation energy for this reaction. There we go. I'm going to block in a small area which represents the amount of molecules with energy equal to or greater than the activation energy. So they may react. That was at low temperature. At medium temperature, the area is bigger, representing more molecules that could react. And at high temperature, the area is even bigger. These have energy equal to or greater than the activation energy. So now I'm going to draw in the activation energy for the catalyzed reaction. So catalyst lowers the activation energy. There we go. The first part I'm going to block in shows the amount of particles that have energy greater than or equal to the catalyzed activation energy. And there's actually more area, so there's more particles that could react now. For the medium one, you'll notice, again, the area is increased, even compared to the low temperature and to the uncatalyzed one. And the maximum area is for the high temperature and with a catalyst. Now, just because it could react doesn't mean it will. They still have to collide and have to collide with the correct collision geometry. But what does that area mean? That little black area there. Hmm. Think about that. 